I use Dropbox? I get this question all the time with my coaching clients who aren't using Dropbox and they get a little overwhelmed with how it all works. So I'm going to do a quick overview and then I'm going to show you exactly how to use it and how I use it for my business. This is on, on the website. Uh, you can also download it and I'll show you how that works too. I don't even have the business one. I just have Dropbox Pro which gives me a lot of space. I get three terabytes of space, which is a ton of space and storage. I think it's totally worth $1.99 a year. I love using Dropbox. I save all my, I back up all my like photos to it as far as like client photos and things like that. So I just wanna go through how I'm using it, what I'm sharing in here. So you just sign up with a Dropbox account. Again, I'm paying for it, which I recommend doing because then you have tons of storage. And then here's how I have it. I have file folders. And these are the same on my hard drive, which I'll show you in a second. So for example, I have every single year I have in this folder for invoices and sales, I have a folder for each year and then I have expenses and I have invoices for clients. So my sales, all my tax stuff basically. And then this one is web ready photos. These are all the photos that go on my blog. I'm actually going to click on this one and show you how it's organized. So this one is photos. They're web sized already. Um, for every wedding year, every session year. Um, and so like, so for example, here's 2015, I'll click on that. And then I go by like wedding album uh, couples names and then miscellaneous stuff. Um, so let me just go back there. So these are all web ready with my logo. So they're very, very quick to find when I need something. Um, and then let me go back and I'll just show you a couple more folders real quick. And then so like here's albums. So for example, I have all of my album designs that I've ever done are in this folder. It's amazing. And they're ready to go. They're ready uh, for the web. I have a web folder for all of them and I have a full size too. So they're all backed up. And then this folder is images of my albums. So, and then I have miscellaneous folders like about different companies I use or something like that, holiday cards and stuff like that. So that's like so easy. If I'm looking for a wedding album that I've designed for somebody, uh, then I just go to that folder and if I want photo I take photos of all my wedding albums and all my um, portrait albums and I put those in there too. So it's very easy for me to find something for my blog or my website or my Instagram. Um, and then this is like my business forms, things I need like current contracts, things like that. Um, so for example, here's current marketing materials. This is more like marketing information, like things I'm learning my business info, graphic elements is like Photoshop templates, um, different things like holiday cards, designs, so that if I'm designing something for a client, it's all in here. Uh, screenshots, um, courses, those are courses I'm taking, courses I'm building. Social media graphics, this is what I'm using for my blog posts, my YouTube videos, Pinterest. Um, so for example, if I need to share something out, um, then there's just different, uh, all the different graphic things I've made for my business. So it's easy to find like that kind of stuff. Okay. So that's basically how I use Dropbox. That's the gist of it. It's a very quick overview. I just have all these different photo folders and stuff. Um, but the problem is, is then it gets, so here's like full resolution files of all my gigs I've ever done. I back them up here when they're finished. It's only the like full wedding gallery photos or like the wedding album um, full design in case like let's say their house burned down or something like I can reprint their wedding album I don't need to redesign it so that kind of stuff is in here um, so obviously I don't want all these on my regular hard drive where Dropbox is so this is all on the web okay so what I want to show you is um, how to do it on your hard drive also okay so one is you can if here's the um, Dropbox online, like I said, this is a web their their website Dropbox with my account. So you can do a new folder, you can do a new shared folder, you can do all these different things. I can upload files to a folder, for example, things like that. Um, so that makes it so easy. You can also share the folders with people, which I have another video on how I share them for wedding vendors. But you can go, you can click on this share, and you can add it to Trello. You can invite them via email. You can also hit the dot 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 over here. You can rename the folder. You can star the folder as a favorite. You can send it as a whole folder as a transfer. Um, and then you can share. So like for example, if it's a wedding gallery or wedding photos, like I can share the Dropbox with them. You can create a link. You can just share the link or you can add their email and send them a message and they get an email uh, invited to the folder. So 
There's all kinds of stuff you can do with Dropbox, okay? So one of the reasons that I brought this up today um, is that I do coaching with photographers and I was showing one of my photographers how to not need to do in-person sales sessions, okay? So what I was saying is that you can record a video on your hard drive and I'll do a different video on how to do that, but you can upload um, the video to Dropbox and then share the Dropbox link with your client so that you don't have to meet with them. So I was coaching Mindy today. So like here's a folder. I have all of our, our Zoom calls I put into Dropbox. But what you can do is upload a video to Dropbox um, and share the link to the video to your client. What I do is I use QuickTime and I'll do another video on it. So I'll link to that in the sidebar. So I do that a lot with wedding albums. If I can't meet with a couple in per person or I know they have crazy schedules, then I'll record it as if I was talking to them in my house uh, and walk them through their wedding album design and tell them what I need, what pages I'm feeling good about, what pages of their wedding album I'm not feeling good about, that I want their opinion on a photo or something. I'll walk it, I'll walk them through it. So you can just share a video through Dropbox. This is why one of the reasons, one of the many, many reasons that I like using Dropbox. It's just a very, very easy way to do it. So you can make a folder and call it public or call it clients or whatever you want to call it just upload it to Dropbox without even being in a folder like here's my logo that I put as a watermark you know here's a video or an audio file I use all the time um, just the thing I have invoices I need to print out that I haven't printed out yet I leave in here and then I move them once I've printed them move them into my sales folder so you can organize your Dropbox however you want but my point is if you uploaded a video to here you can just share it with your client and then they can go see it um, and I do this, like I said, with the wedding albums, it works great. So I'm going to click on one real fast and just show you what I mean. So let's say I have, here's my album designs. Let me just find like, um, you know, a client. I'll go into theirs. It's a PDF. So here's a PDF. I share the PDF with them and then they can leave comments on the pages for me. So it's a very collaborative. It's the easiest way to proof a wedding album. I'll do a different video on it and then they can leave a comment. They can even click on the page. Like, let's say, let me find one with a lot of photos real quick. Okay, they can even say like this photo and then leave a comment, like swap with image, image, oops, image number 42, whatever. Like they can comment whatever the heck they want. Um, sometimes they write, I love this, <laughs> which is really fun to read. Uh, and I get emailed with the comments. So anyway, just a great way to do it, um, just share on Dropbox. So I just wanted to give you that overview of how I organize my Dropbox, why I use it, and why I pay for the pro. And even with all those years of finished gigs, I have all those photos backed up. I'm still barely using the three terabytes. And I literally have my entire life and business in Dropbox. Okay. So real fast, what I'm going to show you is what I do with the desktop version. So if you go under your hard drive, you should see if you have Dropbox installed, you should see over here in the sidebar Dropbox or you can add it. Um, but you would just open Dropbox by double clicking under applications. And for me, I have it mostly like all online because I don't want to take up my hard drive space. So what's great about it is you can see what's in your Dropbox. You can see what you've named it, but they're all being saved online and it shows online only. So what's cool is I can right click on that and I can share it straight from here without even having it on my hard drive. I can copy the link and email it to someone, which I do a lot. And then if you really wanted to, you could like if you need it on your hard drive to edit, you can click local and that means it's adding it to your, your actual computer. Um, and what I have my settings for Dropbox set up is that if I don't use the file for a while, it'll automatically take it off of my computer and it'll bring me this little cloud link. It's only on the website and not fully on my computer. So this helps save space on your hard drive. Um, and I actually have my Dropbox set up on a uh, SD card, like a really large SD card. I have it set up on that, but it makes a shortcut folder on your hard drive. So it just makes it really, really simple. If you're trying to find a file um, and you need it for whatever reason, then it, here it is. So you can see it's not taking up space, but you can it's still rendering these thumbnails, which is nice. And then, like I said, you can right click and share from here. So I find this very helpful. I usually will, like if I do a video tutorial for a client, I will put it in here. 
um, let it generate the link, and then I'll move it to online only after I've shared the link. So you don't even have to go to the website to do it. So that's how you use Dropbox. I hope that helps. If you're stuck, uh, I know some people aren't very tech savvy and they don't know how to do this, but basically if you go under applications and you've downloaded Dropbox, you just double click on it and it should ask you where you want to save it and how you want it set up. So if that was complicated, leave me a comment and uh, let me know where you're stuck and I will do another video on that piece where you're stuck. I'm happy to share how I use Dropbox. Uh, there's a lot to it. Um, and I'll do different videos on the different, you know, how to sync these files and stuff. But basically you just download Dropbox and then set it up. It asks you where you want to save it and where you want the files and they default to being online only. Uh, so that's it. Okay.